and they're not there. So I got another there. job. There. Really there. We're, we're going to go to a place close to the Lance Blank versus Joel Rothdow, both from Lewiston, Idaho. Actually, both from Asotin, Washington, playing out of Idaho. This little camera. It doesn't get a good view of the other club with the full glass back. I can set up my tripod. It doesn't come back far enough. Thank you. Like last night's match between Nick Benton and Chuck Tyson. Yeah. Had it set up just perfect, full view of the court, everything. No. This kid's got a uh, GoPro at home, he forgot to bring it. Oh, how old is he? 17. You know what bracket these guys are? Uh, C. Then C division. I was hoping they'd go get a warm up game before they had to play each other. He looks like he just has some raw athletic talent to him. Well, that kid, but, yeah. Uh, Elite soccer player. He works at our club. What's, what's his name? Lance Blank. Right? Lance Blank. They just started uh, a year ago. January will be a year playing racquetball. Oh. He was a college tennis player back in the day. And started in what? March. Started playing racquetball. How old was he? 51, I think, and then 17 for 17. the 17. Yeah. He, he, he's not liking the fact that we got little five and six year olds that are playing. What division are good? What division are they playing in? The, this one here? Yeah. For oh, the five and six year olds. These guys? These guys. This is C. C. But they're getting passionate about racquetball. You just can't beat that. time Jordan did that, I just thought the same thing. It's like, you know, one of these days he's going to get busted, but he never did. <laughs> well, my brother did. He was playing basketball. He always had his tongue sticking between his teeth. He get jammed. Some elbowed him. Yeah. Only well, takes one time for you to think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never do it again. Yeah. I think I'm going to go watch some talk. What's 
what's your name? I'm Brad. Brad? Bruce. Brad Johnson. Bruce, good to meet you. Bruce Wingate. I saw you down there last night. How'd you do last night? Oh, I got beat. I'm I through. did too. I had a lot of fun though. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I couldn't get past the surf. <laughs> I'm a sea player and, and uh, I was playing an open player. So. Oh, really? Uh, open player? Yeah. What, age group? Yeah, age group. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why I don't play age group because those guys are so, so good. Who'd you play? 15 overs or 60? 60. 60s? Yeah. Probably Gary Brock. Did you play Gary Brock? Okay. Do you know Gary? Gary? Gary, yeah, that's yeah. what I played. Yeah, he, he, uh, I couldn't what? get past the surf. I, I, I went home and looked at, you know, nobody, I, I played down at the wine, nobody down there surfed like that. Oh, so yeah. I, I, he just got me. Well, you got probably him, Randy, 20, 50s, 60s. Yeah. You got some serves on those guys. 20, 25 points probably he made off his serve. If I if I did return, it was such a weak one, he just put it away. So. Yeah, I played him before too, the same thing. I yeah. mean, he just, once he gets that serve going, there's nothing he can do. Well, he's it, so big that number one, he's, he, you can't, don't Tough see it. See around him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so it's, we it's watched, almost a screen for me, but I, you know, I'm sure a better player would make He and I in the 50 and over final down here two years ago. <laughs> And uh, he, I hit a ball down the rail, so he clears me all the way to the, with his big body. Oh yeah, yeah. All the way to the other wall, and then goes over to hit it. Yeah, he got a whole. He, he can use that. Ball. He can use that body. But yeah, when it serves on, it's on. Same thing with Rennie Wiley. Yeah. I was up on Rennie fourteen to three, and I lost fifteen to four. Fourteen. Rennie's gay, yeah. That now, as soon as I tore my MCL, I just haven't been able to come back and re yeah. return serve. How long ago was that? Year. Nationals a year ago, so a year and a half. Yeah. That'll change your game real fast. Oh, man. Yeah, my serve's gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> I get in the box, I gotta keep it now. Oh, come on, Joe. So I. I'm just a little vague on this one. On the serve, on the singles, can you stand anywhere? You can stand anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the and thing is, you can't hit a well. you can't hit a drive if you if your racket or any part of your racket crosses the doubles line. See the doubles you line. Can't hit the drive. Yeah, you yeah. can't hit the drive. Well, sure. it seemed like it'd be a screen every time. Yeah. Yeah, That's okay. why they, in the old days, back when I started playing racquetball, they only had one line there. Yeah. So it's the it's the second line in. Yeah. Okay. Oh come on, Joe, you saw it. Oh, the young enthusiasm. They're all trying to win. Yeah, he's going to be good, though, this kid. Yeah. We'll get him to settle down. and He's playing with one of our hot dogs a little too much. So he, all he wants to do is hit the ball hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if he starts learning mechanics and strategy, he'll uh, he can be quite an athlete. Well, he's a very sharp, sharp kid, so it's a matter of busting his ego down just enough. Yeah. And coming to this tournament is going to be good for that. But what's he doing playing in the seas? Everybody he's playing up at, at Adco is A and Elite. And well, he should be playing at least B's. B's, yeah. That's what I suggested to him. But well, we got a couple of uh, sandbaggers, I think. Kind of convinced him to... You know, he needs to get the experience. That's cool, but... Well, you know, that's the thing with me. I mean, just to, me alone, I'm thinking, okay, I've never won a B tournament, but I'm probably more of an A player. As a matter of fact, I was seated eighth, and I played uh, Jared. Um, I can't remember this. Anyway, he was ninth. It was 15, 13, 15, 13. Yeah. I'm thinking, okay, but I've never won a B tournament, so until I win a B tournament, I figure out, okay, I'll just enter. So I entered A's and B's, mm -hmm. but he seated me number one. In bees, yeah. it's like oh geez, with a curse. But uh, I, you know that's the thing. I, I just don't know. Sometimes you just don't know where you should be. But I'm well, thinking I should be. In well, if you play less than a B player, you're cheating. <laughs> I'm not less than a B player. <laughs> yeah. I play I play B sporadically enough to call yeah. myself a. 
Well, we got we got two guys I know that are down here planting bees at a one bee tournament. And the way in the old days, back when yeah. I played and played uh, top knots, you won a C tournament, you become a B tournament. You win a, a B tournament, or you get to the finals of two B tournaments, you become an A player. They had actual policy and procedure on that stuff. Well, we don't, do we have that here in Boston? Nope. I've already talked to the Idaho Rackball Association trying to get some of the folks to put into effect that. The sandbagging just hurts everybody. Well, yeah. Everybody's going to have some tough tournaments. Come on, you got to watch them and read it. Yeah. But the neat thing is, two of the sandbaggers from our neck of the woods came up and played in B's instead of A's. They're going to get beat in B's because they, they're head cases. Is that it, guys? That's the first thing. They come into the tournament and they freak out.